If you could hold a model representing every possible color of paint, what shape would it be? That's just one question that color theory tries to answer. Artists have long understood the connection between light and color, but it wasn't until Isaac Newton's 1666 color wheel that the relationship between colors of light was scientifically explained. As new pigments emerged in the 20th century, artists needed better ways to describe color. Albert Munzel, an artist and educator, developed a system that broke color down into hue, value, and chroma as numeric values on a scale. Hue is the color name, so red, yellow, etc. Value is its lightness or darkness, and chroma is its intensity. For example, 5R518 describes a medium red at a middle value with bright intensity. The Munzel system introduced the idea of a color solid, a 3D model representing all possible hues at every value in chroma. This system, along with others like Joseph Albers' study on color perception, remains vital in art education today. Even with modern color spaces like C-Lab, Munzel's system is still widely used in industries like textiles and fashion. Artists and students continue to learn from Newton, Munzel, and Albers using tools like swatch books and color wheels to navigate the complex world of color in both light and pigment. Whether you're mixing paints or adjusting digital hues, an introduction to color theory can help you master color in your work.